Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be for teachers and students that are starting off this year with virtual online classes for robotics. And for those of you that are using resources like VEX VR, this video is going to show students how you can basically attach your files and send it to your teacher through Google Classroom. And teachers, this is going to be a big video for you. It's going to be how to assign and be able to receive student files from VEX VR. So if you want to see all of that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, so again, as we're starting this virtual online school year, um, it's going to be kind of tough for those of us teaching robotics because a lot of this, you know, is going to be digital and there's a lot of um, tech issues we got to work out. So this video, again, is just going to show teachers how do you assign a VEX VR assignment, how will you receive it from your students, and if you have students that are having issues being able to send those files, I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically what I want to do is be able to, as a teacher, when the student is done with, I'm going to talk about today the virtual, um, the maze. It's actually called the dynamic wall maze. And the issue with this one here is the mazes all, all change. If this was something like the castle crasher, the castle crasher, you know, it's, it's, it's the same no matter if you mess up. But if you're doing the mazes, they switch. So what I want to do is be able to get not only the code from the student, but be able to get a picture of what their maze looks like. So that way, when I get the student's file and their program, I'll be able to know which maze they actually ran. So let's go ahead and go to my computer and I'll show you everything from the teacher's point of view and the student's point of view. Okay, first things first, if you're the teacher and you're um, assigning this VEX VR assignment, let's go to my fake robotics class right here and we're gonna go ahead and go to classwork and we're gonna create an assignment and we're gonna go ahead and title this a dynamic oops let's go ahead and go with vex VR dynamic wall maze and we'll call it project um, it's going to be for all your students. You can decide the points and the due date, and we're going to click Assign. So your student should get some type of notif notification that this project has been assigned in their Google Classroom. Okay, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and go to VEX VR. Um, there's actually a quicker way, but let's just go to VEX VR. We'll let this go ahead and pop up and load. And we're going to go to vr.vex.com. And this is the beginning page that should show up. We're going to go up to the right to the playground. The grid map will automatically default, but we're going to go to dynamic wall maze. So um, let's go ahead and just move this window over. Let's just start dragging blocks in here. I don't want to take too long. I, I want to get to the saving part. So forward, turn right, forward, turn right. Let's just stop with that one. So let's say you're, go ahead, you're ready to save. So we're going to go up to the top middle. And what I want you to do is go ahead and type in your first name and last name, just because I have multiple students with the same first name. And then just put maze so we know what project it is. And then we're going to click rename. Then we're going to go up to the file in the upper left and we will click save to your device. And then you'll notice it should save at the bottom uh, of your screen for uh, Windows and Chrome. And then what you would want to do is, you know, in that case, um, for, for the sake of ease, you would probably want to um, save this to your desktop there you go so that file is just easier to access 
So once your file is on your desktop, then you're ready to go. You're actually ready to save this or send this in um, your Google Classroom to the teacher. Okay, so now let's take a look at it from the um, student view. So we are in the student view. Let's open up our Google Classroom. And it says that we have a new assignment and it's the dynamic wall maze project. And now we're going to be ready to send in our file here. So we're going to click on add or create and we're going to click on file. That is a VEX VR file. And there's a couple of ways we can um, find it. Um, you can, it, it popped up right there, but we definitely want to go to upload and click on browse. And we saved it to our desktop. So there it is right there, Peter Brady, Peter Brady Maze. So that will go ahead and upload. And then before we turn this in, we want to also add our picture of our maze. So we, you know, depending on where you saved that picture, um, we're going to go ahead and wait for that picture for the maze and then upload this together. Okay, so we have our VEX VR file. Let's go ahead and add in a same file, but this is now going to be the photo file. So we're going to go to the same upload, go to browse, and we're going to check the desktop for that picture of our maze. There it is right there. So we'll just select that, let that upload. So now if you take a look at the top, we have our VEX VR file with the name of your, the student. And then below it, we have the image of our maze. And we're just going to be ready to turn that in. So we got just make sure everything's good. So there's the JPEG picture of the maze and then we're turning that in. So the next stop now is going to be the teacher's Google Classroom. So now we can um, take these files from the student and be able to watch it, upload it, and then grade it. Okay, I'm on the teacher version of Google Classroom. So there's that dynamic wall maze. I can see that a student turned it in. So what I want to do is go ahead and go to this folder and be able to open it up and see there's the photo of the maze and then there is the VEX VR file from Peter Brady. So I'm going to go ahead and um, download this VEX VR file and you'll notice it just downloaded over there to the left on my screen. So what I want to do is basically um, save this. It doesn't matter where you save it. I mean, it might be wise to have a VEX VR folder for your classroom, but there's the VEX um, download from the student. I'm going to just pop that onto the desktop. And what I want to do now is go back, be able to go back to VEX VR right here. And now I will go ahead and load Peter's file. I um, I had several because I was actually Peter and now I'm P uh, Peter's teacher. So I'm going to upload the playground. And then what I want to do now is be able to um, go back to Peter's picture where I can see what his maze look like. So I will open this folder again and I don't necessarily have to open it, but I will just so that you guys can see it a little bigger. And I can see like this little field goal post, sideways field goal post. So I can memorize that. There's only one maze that has that. So let's go ahead and scroll through the different mazes. And there it is right there. So what I, I now know Peter's program, and I'm just going to run the program over there on the to the left. Obviously, it wasn't you know, I was just kind of throwing blocks down. If Peter's program really was good, it would it should be able to run this maze and hopefully he did a really good job. So everybody, that's basically how you're going to, um, as a student, be able to turn this in and as a teacher, be able to see it. Okay, everybody, so I don't want to make it seem like that's the only way. 
I mean, there's more, you know, there's inventive ways to get this. I've actually had students send me videos of their robot on their screen and their program. The only thing wrong with that is, you know, with Google Classroom, it'd be nice to have everybody's file there. So that way I'm not looking at my email, looking at Google Classroom and, you know, like flip flopping back and forth. So what would be nice is to have like I showed you in Google Classroom where everybody's picture of their maze is there and everybody's programs there. So I just have one place where everything can be stored. Uh, but, you know, as we're navigating these unsure times, you know, right now we're just trying to figure out, hey, can my students log on? Can they stay on? Can they go to like VEX VR and not, you know, be lagging and things like that? So right now you kind of have to take, you know, our little successes every day and basically take what you can get. But, you know, if you're trying to have your students um, do VEX VR projects and send you their files, hopefully this video helped. Okay, guys, so I'm, I'm, I'm with you on this one. I'm trying to navigate these with you, and each day I learn something, and it's every day we get little successes. Okay, hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully your school year is, if it's not started, you know, going to start well, and I'm here for you. Okay, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.